<laughs> Not until now. Well, I was saying like <laughs> P-E-W. <laughs> hey, Reaperland. Hi, Reaperland. Uh, Brother Dave. Not John Overdane. Overton. John Not Overton. Overton. Yeah. <laughs> um, welcome. It's Friday. Yeah. It's been a long week. It has been a, an eventful week, to uh, say the least. A lot of people are talking about the rooms already. Yeah. Tornado. Yeah. Uh, currently somewhere. Where? Yeah. Uh, Somebody around, say? Around us? No. Yeah. Oh. We're broadcasting in the middle of a storm right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think somebody, Justin told me that it might snow tomorrow. That's, I, there's I, a, where is Justin? <laughs> you, ju you just now noticing the situation? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah uh, you're not Justin. <laughs> we're also joined by Michael Collins. <laughs> Our oh. ethical advisor. Actually, yeah. I, just, I didn't tweet out that we were going live, so let me do that right now. It's, yeah. it's, a, uh, <laughs> it's a tornado watch. And I always get confused whether warning is more important. Or warning watch. is more important. Warning uh, is that it's on matter. the ground heading right for you. Oh, okay. Watch means run outside and look to the skies. Uh, watch it come right at you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Top of the show. All uh, right. Thanks, everybody that's watching on YouTube. Uh, I know a lot of people can't uh, watch because they're at work or something like that. So thanks for watching. Um, I'm actually, you know, working on something that we can do for our YouTube people. Mm -hmm. Maybe something in the comments. Uh, we can figure that out. Um, we're, we're still talking about it. Um, things that we're going to be talking about today, we have Bones 5 stuff. Mm -hmm. We have ReaperCon Hotel stuff. Where's Justin? Where's Justin? <laughs> Hashtag where's Justin? Where's Boo Boo? Where's Boo Boo? Oh, Boo Boo. <laughs> Thanks, Gary the Fetman. Yeah. Um, we have uh, some more build, previews. We have a building update. We have... Hmm? Mm. Thanks to the sub, I guess it's a good opportunity to mention ah. what we do for our giveaway on yeah. today. Are you uh, interrupting me? Yeah, let, let me finish. Absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. Uh, let me finish. Uh, thanks, Carwin, for the sub. Um, <laughs> Bones 5 stuff. Mm -hmm. We have fundraiser, Kickstarter information, not ours, others. Right. Um, we have community stuff that we can talk about. We have a, a full show today, so go share it. Get all your friends in here. Yeah, Justin is giving birth. That's why he's not here. Is that it? <laughs> I just uh, found out uh, Michael was running the show. Yeah. <laughs> He's been sitting here for like an hour. <laughs> um, so, uh, hope everybody's having a good Friday. Uh, on Fridays, what do we do, Dave? Uh, drink. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Soon enough. Soon, Soon enough. enough. We also we also give away we match gift subs on the channel and uh, with a minimum of twenty five. Mm -hmm. So all gifted ah, Reaper subs. Harley's here. Hey, all all gifted subs. So. I see a lot of people, you know, all the regulars are here. Welcome, everybody. Um, if, the, if all your friends don't know, go ahead and tell them how awesome this is. Mm -hmm. um, it's a blast. So, do you Oh, any... you're being stalked by bug lips on your uh, remodel there, uh, Collins. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I tried to make a poll. Uh, apparently, Facebook polls aren't the same as they used to be, where it would just oh. calculate the information for you, yeah. and you can only have two options. Mm -hmm. So I actually had to Joel? walk yeah. through and yeah. count. The responses on what color my floors are going to oh. be. Oh, hmm? yeah. Okay. Uh, speaking of polls, where I think we're going to be doing a lot more polls on Facebook and Twitter, mm -hmm. uh, and also on Reddit. Um, so I, I don't know what we're going to be doing, but I have a lot of plans. I have a big whiteboard on my desk where I have a bunch of things written down that I want to do. Uh, so I'm working my way through them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is uh, one of them to, to get Ed and Ron to clean up the studio after yeah, they do Reaper Look at Live? This. Look at this desk here. It's like rock star gamer goobers. You know, <laughs> they come in, they trash the place, and then they leave. Um, my favorite, my favorite comment from last night. I was in chat, and someone said, uh, "Whenever it's you and Ed on the show, it's going to be pew pew boo boo." Mm -hmm. Like hashtag pew pew <laughs> boo boo. It's so funny. I thought it was super funny. Which nice way. Next week. Oh yeah. Next week, Ron will be sitting here, and I will be doing Reaper Live with Ed. Mm -hmm. so, so I think the tentative thing is, is that every time there is a Kickstarter update, uh, on the Ron first will be and here. first and third weeks, mm -hmm. uh, Fridays, yeah. Ron will be here, Since and Ron I'll be doing Reaper week. Live that Thursday. Yeah, so it'll be the Pew Show on Thursday nights, and they'll be talking about Reaper history and all kinds of, you know, doing doing their thing. Mm. Things that only the brothers can really do yeah, together. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So be there for that hil hilariosity. Uh, and then Ron will be here to talk about the Kickstarter updates because since he's the one who writes them and he has a lot more information about it than we do. That he's uh, withholding from us yeah, to make us yeah. look bad. Ron's the man. So there you go. They must think they're the they're bosses, bosses above cleaning. They That's must. Right. They must. Mm -hmm. Twistama. Yes. I, I get here an hour early and I start putting stuff away. Yeah. I mean, there's like wrappers on the floor over here thanks, that Graziotti. you can't see. I'm like, what the hell happened in here? Uh, thanks, Grazietti. Uh, oh, thank I you, use toddlers. 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 Toddlers came through here. Yeah. Um, I uh, I use your pen every day. Uh, oh. Dave's using it right now. 
Uh, I don't want I don't want it to leave my desk because I don't want to lose it. Yeah. So I keep it on my desk. But thank you. And uh, Garage Yeti, I sent you a whisper in in uh, in uh, Twitch. Whoa. I need what? You did? I did. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Boomers that, can't. Boomer <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my God, oh he's my gone God. cyber. <laughs> so uh, uh, anyway, I was wanting to get some more of these pens. So if you could contact Dave at Reaper Mini, mm. that's an email. <laughs> uh, thanks, Internet John. Uh, Internet Jojen, Jojen. Um, thanks, thanks for the gifted. Um, um, oh my gosh, there's a lot of gifted. Princess Rainbow cosplay. Mm -hmm. Hype train incoming. Where'd that? What? I don't know. That's, I, that's new. the first time I've seen that. Yeah. Uh, me too. Uh, I was watching Miniatures Den earlier. Yeah. Aren't you supposed he, to be the expert? Yeah. He also had some stuff up there too. All yeah. this stuff I don't know. No, Dave, I'm too busy doing the other things that you guys. Oh, this is do. new. No. Oh. Can you guys see this hype train at the top of your chat? That's new. I don't know what that is. So uh, it's it's called the uh, hype train. It's yeah, currently it's at level train. two. Mm -hmm. um, we only need twenty percent more. Oh. Or 80% more to 80 go to level more three. To get a level three. Um, in order to do to utilize the hype train, uh, given the time limit that's currently counting down. Four minutes. Four minutes to change. We need a sub, a gift, or use bits to get to the next level. Oh, cool. Well, okay. Yeah. Let's level up our hype train to, to this this Friday. I don't know what that entails, but how do you how do you level it up? Um, people give us stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, subs, gifts, and bits. And 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 buttons and and bottle caps. Yeah, bo bobbles and <laughs> buttons. Okay, more boomer talk. Snow globes, <laughs> stamps. What are stamps? stamps? Yeah, stamps. Who uses stamps? All right. I use stamps. <laughs> <laughs> um, no joke. Ed Ed collects stamps, and so he buys collections, and then they and he when he's and his is Germany, mm -hmm. and and so there's always U S old U S stamps in there. Mm -hmm. So he just hands them off to me, and then I just sit there and put them on letters instead of buying postage. Oh wow. They're good forever. Uh, so. Thanks for the gear. Thanks for the tier one, Nightheart Gaming. Hey, I thank love, you, Nightheart. I love yeah. Nightheart. Uh, yeah, they rated me the other night. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, last night, uh, Mike Disney rated me too. So. Oh. Uh, yeah, I like watching their uh, their role playing. Uh, yeah, Silver Nightheart. Thor? Thanks, oh, Silver thank you. Thank you uh, very thanks much. For all, the um, all right. So top of the show. <laughs> top of the show. We... Um, I believe we have some pictures. Do you uh, off the top of your list, Collins? Do you have the sailmaker? And the pirate captain, the female pirate captain from Christine Van Patten. It's a turn. They're turnarounds. I didn't send them to you in my email. They should have been on there already, unless Justin got rid of them. Like he does. Like he does. I, a Justin doesn't get rid of anything. So okay. When I sit down right here, yeah. I delete a whole bunch. Of okay. Stuff. Okay. 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 <laughs> All right. So, so he's before, trashing before, his own computer. Before you go on, let yeah. me see if it's. Do you? Is do you know what it was named? No, <laughs> I don't look at that computer, so I don't know. It would have been from last week. He, he's had him in there for a while. Um, there that you go. Like one? The hey, sailmaker? Hey, perfect. Yeah. yeah, that's the sailmaker. Yeah, um, yeah. So this was done by Christine Van Patten. Um, if for people who haven't seen it, since we're talking about Bones 5 stuff. Mm -hmm. um, this is in the Brun Wind expansion. There's, there's the pirate captain, the female pirate captain. You know, look at oh, that. Look picture at in picture. Go I, think, I think this is uh, dying here. Oh. Thanks, Numbat, for that. Our, our uh, wheel gift, was messing up. Gifted sub. Oh, it was pushed up against the... Ah, there we that's go. what it was. Um, so, yeah. The, for people who haven't seen them yet, uh, here they are. I believe these are the only new turnarounds so far that we have. Uh, these were in the Kickstarter update last... Uh, I believe on Tuesday? Yes. On Monday? Monday. Ron put out an update mm -hmm. on Monday. So, you guys can go look at the Kickstarter update uh, to look at all that stuff. The other stuff that he had posted is actually on our wheel. So, you can get rid of these once Collins is ready. Yeah. Corsair, that's uh, 1961. That is our ethical advisor, Michael Collins, behind the fence today. Yes, Michael Collins is in the house since Justin is out of the office today. Yeah. I wonder why. I don't know. Maybe he's having a um, baby. Weather, to be honest with oh, you. The weather. Uh, weather was supposed to be really bad. And and we're here. Uh, yeah. yeah, but schools and other offices closed down. That's how scary it was supposed to be. So oh. it's a justifiable. I guess I just haven't been paying attention. To oh. it. <laughs> it, it, we just really haven't felt it here at all. It's all been like kind of some light rain and stuff yeah. like that. No. Is it more in Fort Worth? Yeah. Oh, that's where he lives. He lives about an hour away. 45 no minutes No excuse. Away. No excuse. The show must go on. <laughs> and it's going. It's going. Yeah. <laughs> Little boo-boo scared of the weather. <laughs> 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 all right. Let's go to our turntable. Okay. Back to the QVC cam. All right. So uh, these are the bramble wall that's coming around there. That was sculpted by Kevin Williams. Uh, everything else on the table was sculpted by Julie Guthrie. Um, you know, they're green users in chat. If anybody wants to tag them, if they're here, they might not be here. Thanks, Numbat, for the gifted. Oh, thank you. We're at 100%. It looks like we're about to go into 
phase three of our Level hype three. train. Yeah. Oh, it's got confetti. Oh, oh hey. hey. <laughs> 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 poggers. It even had the poggers. Level two complete. Cool. Now see, well, I'm not seeing that on on uh, my phone, but okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't All know. right. Level three. Um, in case you guys are curious, we are seven percent into level three. <laughs> okay. So, cool. Um, um, four and a half minutes with, to go with so, average yeah. participation. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, oh. this is the uh, lion dragon. Yes. The unicorn. The Pegasus, I'm not the unicorn. The Pegasus. The Pegasus yeah. Uh, in the Greek Odyssey expansion and the treasure dragon. So. There you go. As it comes back around, there's the treasure dragon. Uh, these are the prints for them. Also, uh, fun fact, the bramble wall that you're about to see come around. Mm -hmm. In the Reaper Pledge Manager, uh, there is actually an option, a special option, if you look for it, that has a four-pack of these. Uh, same thing for the other walls as well. Um, so if you guys want four of them, because most spells require you to have, like, uh, feet restrictions. Um, you know, when you create a wall of fire, it's 20 feet. So there Definitely you go. Thank you very much for that cheer. Things like that. Yeah, I want to snuggle that treasure dragon. Yeah, it's really cute. Um, and then while we're on QVC cam, we can talk about good old Beach Nuts, thank you for the gift. Kevin Williams Cheers. sculpt here. I don't know if it's going to fit on camera. But yeah, 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 it does. Um, I did hear through the grapevine, just in case you guys wanted to know, that there's a strong possibility that Miss Ann Forrester paints that said dragon. Oh, oh really? Wait, the treasure dragon? Yes, sir. Okay, the treasure oh, okay. dragon. On Wednesdays, maybe? Um, you know what? I don't think we've covered that. Okay. Well, she will paint it somewhere yep. at some time. Um, but here is Yogg's is off uh, for all you HP Lovecraft people. Mm -hmm. uh, normally, every Kickstarter, there's always one. <laughs> at least one. Uh, we've done Cthulhu, Shub, uh, Dagon. We've done all those. That's uh, huge. Narlethotep. Yeah. Uh, this is my favorite, all of the ones that he's done. Mm -hmm. um, he told me, fun fact, uh, I was watching him sculpt this. If you look at the eyes on the shoulders. Right. Some of them have sculpted in irises, mm -hmm. and the other ones don't. Uh, right. He says that he wants people to use it to... Sometimes you can have different eyes that have different effects. Oh, okay. uh, But now you can paint your own in if you oh, wanted to. Yeah. He left some blank, so if people wanted to uh, paint some of their own eyes. Oh. Uh, Good effect. Yeah. yeah. We were kind of worried about his base, uh, so when he was basing him, uh, instead of having two points of contact, uh, we wanted three. But two seems to be working out just fine, just because he's really tall, uh, and the pillar is really stable for him. So yeah, that around. helps. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the, I uh, you really can't see it uh, on the camera, but if you get really close in on where the tentacles and stuff come out of, um, for instance, what, yeah, where your here? pin is. Yeah, uh, actually. Yay! So. More cheer. So it's going to be coming back around, but it's the it's the sheaths basically where the right before the tentacles come out. There's a lot of uh, texturing and like bumps and things like that. Great, great texture on this model. I really love it. Um, I watched him for months sculpt this. I'm excited so. about that mouth. The mouth? <laughs> oh, yeah. He's always wanted to have something that has, uh, I don't know what that's called, but it's like a, the four openings. Uh, yeah, I don't know if it actually has a name, but yeah, Yogg's off. This is my favorite one that he's sculpted out of all of the uh, HP Lovecraft creatures. The, uh, what are they called? Oh. The Elders? The Elders? Yeah, there we go. Kevin Williams, our very own in-house sculptor, Kevin Williams. He also did the Bramble Wall and all the other walls as well. Boop. Got it? Yeah, I was having a, uh, having a hard time there. <laughs> um, there we go. I believe that's all the Bones 5 stuff we have updated for. Uh, there was a, a lot of you probably got an email about the Reaper Pledge Manager yes. uh, that went out. Um, still no PayPal, but it is in the works, I promise. <laughs> um, uh, sounds like there's some there's a few little kinks that they're trying to get ironed out. So instead of releasing it super early and people emailing us and things like that, we want to make sure that it's perfect before it comes out. So yeah, but it's working. Uh, I know yeah. a lot of people are having uh, some issues with their emails. Uh, just remember that, that this is a new right. pledge manager. So e even if you did one, two, three, and four, you're going to have to create a new account, and it's going to have to have the same email From as Kickstarter. Kickstarter. Yes, the exact same email. So the the the, whatchamacallit, I can't, capitalization, yes. all that stuff has to match. Special characters. Yeah, if you, if you use an E for a three, or a three for an E, so forth and so on. <laughs> yeah, so Collins, you, you look like you're about to say something. No, you guys got to figure it out. Yeah, there oh, you go. Okay. Mm -hmm. you, you use the English. Okay. Uh, where can the dice be bought at the local store, Forever Night says? Ooh, good question, Forever Night. At this juncture, I believe there's some information on yes. our sheet to cover the, the whole thing. The dice ETA <coughs> is the 9th of February. February, yes. If that changes, we will update you. 
but uh, the 9th of February, and there's three types of dice, which uh, I think they showed off last night, but Collins can give you a little bit more information about that. So all of these shakers come with blind uh, dice heroes, uh, just like the dice heroes that are on the website, but they're translucent. You can see them down here at the bottom of our screen on the table. So they come QVC in random. QVC cam, please. Special thanks to everybody who uh, participated in our hype. Um, hype machine. We got this squiggly monster thing. Oh, cool. So use it. Use it um, or lose it. It looks yeah. like a hair monster. Information about the dice. We have three basic types mm -hmm. of dice outside of the freebies that we've been giving away. Those mm -hmm. freebies are known as gaming dice because they're kind of simple and easy. Yeah. The one on the far left will be a dual sets. So there's a several sets of colors. That's uh, the left. No, yeah, this yeah, one. Yeah. This um, one. They will have two colors in them, and almost all of them have gold numbers. Actually, they just all have gold numbers. <laughs> the middle one there is called the lucky set. Lucky um, set. Those will be not dual color, but still fun stuff. Um, those also, I believe, all have kind of a tr almost translucent, but there is some color yeah, to it. Yeah, they were they were kind of my favorite of the stuff that we sent. And then there's the set that I picked out, um, and I uh, appropriately named them the Boss um, set. <laughs> boss. Yeah, um, I picked these out, and almost nobody has liked them since then. But um, <laughs> those are thanks, Obi, that, Tony. That's that's kind of. That's kind of what's going on with there. Every time you purchase a set, mm -hmm. those little shakers can stack in on themselves. So, John, if you'll take two of them and kind of screw them on top. So, bloop, just bloop. like that. Um, and you can house a bunch of them. Um, they will come with one of the translucent minis inside of there in a like in a, an opaque bag. So, you don't yes. know which miniature yeah. you're going to get. So, you can see there in the middle and the top, there's these black opaque bags. So I, I will see. also say this. Um, I did coordinate with the people that in, in the in the Chinas, um, and some of the translucent miniatures will be a mix of the translucents. Mm. Oh. So, very unique. I think there was, as they were shooting them, there was only about 30 oh, per cool. color change. So, so they're going to be pretty rare, So, if you guys. get those, yeah. tag us on all the socials. I How many? see them. How many different Nomad wanted to know mm -hmm. about the different colors? colors? We have 18 different sets. Okay. Of each or total? There are 18 different colors. Got it. The, the, okay, I see. I see what you're saying. And we don't have, yeah, we don't have anything free today well, other than we're gifting subs. Matt Nuke says, will we be able to pick colors? Um, the last conversation I had with the powers that be, mm -hmm. right, um, and this is a great question for Reaper Life to get... Uh, and mm -hmm. Dave put, on the spot. To yeah, make yeah. Put on the spot. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. Um, Do you tell. We are going to sell this first wave in the complete sets to stores and distribution. Okay. So now, that being said, as with all things that we do here at Reaper, could change right up until the point where it happens, right? Mm -hmm. But the current plan is to get the stores to get the, the die so that way you guys have access to them there. Nice. There you go. Yeah, they have gold glitter and stuff. In yes, them. I wouldn't say glitter, but yeah. I had there's a set that is clear with gold glitter inside right of it, um, mm -hmm. and then those have glitter in them. So yeah. There's two different sets that have glitter. Yeah, there we go. Ta da! All right, punch us back out. And what is the MSRP on the sets? Um, last I had a conversation again <laughs> with the powers that be, mm -hmm. they were going to be ten ninety five. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Will we be able to buy them at ReaperCon? Hopefully, yes, Hopefully. by then. Um, <laughs> if, if you're not getting them by ReaperCon, then I have failed you significantly. Uh, so remember that. Also remember that. <laughs> um, so another, oh, actually, again, on Bones 5, I wasn't done yet, sorry. Uh, Collins actually has a few pictures. If uh, Christine Van Patten's in chat, Rainbow Sculptor, if she's in chat, I don't know if she is. But she, over on the forums, for all you people that are on the forums, there's a section called Sculpting. And there's two sculptors that we have, mm -hmm. and Andy Peeper, and Christine Van Patten, they've been doing these uh, very detailed uh, write-ups on stuff that they're working for. Uh, a lot of you guys are probably familiar with uh, Erikoth the Ancient, the spider. Right. Uh, he did a huge write-up on that, on sculpting the base, you know, all the different categories of legs and things like that, the texturing that he used and all that stuff. And right now, Christine Van Patten is working on the uh, doxies, the half-orc doxy. Uh, and so I took actually a couple of her pictures. I hope you're okay with that, Christine Van Patten. But if you want to go over to the forums, it's under the sculpting section. Is that uh, yeah. one of them? Yeah, this is go. the concept art. Yeah. Uh, this was the concept art that she received from uh, Izzy, mm -hmm. Izzy Collier. Uh, and they discussed that they don't want the doxy to be attached to the bed. Right. Because you want to be able to use them separately. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, the, that's what sh she has to go with. Uh, she got another concept art piece that I don't have. Uh, of her this but she uses this for her outfits and everything like that okay. um, so yeah we can go to the next picture uh, it doesn't have to be in order I can just talk about them as we show them 
because I, I, I kind of read the whole thing that she posted, so I'm going to try to go from memory. <laughs> uh, forgive me if I mess something up. Uh, so on the far, number four, uh, mm -hmm. is what she kind of started with when they were working with poses. Right. Uh, so they wanted her to be able to, uh, the top middle one is what she started with, posing. Right. Uh, so. Is it the same as four? Uh, yes. Okay. It, it, yes, it is. But this is showing her progression of uh, certain things with her posing. Uh, so they wanted the mug, but then they were like, oh, we don't want the mug because it's sending mixed signals. So then we started with moving her <coughs> hand mm -hmm. up, and now she's like playing with her hair at number seven. So number right. seven, she's kind of like playing with her hair right. uh, and things like that. So you can okay. see the progression of how these poses work. So Christine's very good. I mm -hmm. love the way that she blocks her stuff out. Um, very. That's nice that she'd save the work in progress like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and you can see, if you look at her right foot, the, the leg where she's holding up the skirt, mm -hmm. she's trying to be seductive. Right. Um, but you can see the different posing of the feet. So she's standing flat-footed at number four. Right, and, and then, then it's she's up to, to like, yeah, more knee and mm -hmm. more leg on the five, six, and seven. Start to bend her legs up a yeah. little bit. So this is working through the different posing and things like that. Uh, and she's working with Ron on this, so Ron can talk more. But uh, in the post, it's very detailed. So I'm kind of giving a synopsis of it all. But in the post, it's very detailed. So you can see on the left here, uh, the tusks mm -hmm. are very small, since she's a half-ogre or an ogre. Um, uh, half -orc. Or orc, sorry, half orc. Um, yeah. But you can see the tusks are very small. Small, subdued, um, yeah. So on miniatures, these aren't going to show up that well, so you right. need to make them a little bit bigger. More pronounced, uh, yeah. So the tusks got a lot bigger on the right side. Uh, and you can see how the hair is not finished yet and all that stuff. So these are all very progress pictures. Mm -hmm. uh, she's trying to give her some detailed facial expressions, like saying, you know, come hither and mm -hmm. things like that with her. In orc, of course. <laughs> You're getting a phone call. Mm -hmm. huh? Oh, well. <laughs> um, and then you can see here's a very current, I think this is the last um, progress picture. She's working on it right now, actually. Uh, so she should have some, she said it should be done by today. Mm -hmm. So this was day two of the updates uh, of her sculpting it. So this is, all the other stuff was day one, and then day two she's working on some more stuff. So you can see she's starting to add some more detail in the hair and things like that. <coughs> yeah, you like it barefoot for every night? Mm -hmm. uh, I was late. What are the brightly colored things on the table in front of you? So those are the dice uh, for times. the dice. Uh, fun times, yeah. So every time you buy <laughs> one of our dice, it's going to come with a black bag that has a random mini in it. Uh, and so it's going to be all the dice heroes. To be fair, uh, John, I'm not 100% sure the opaque bag is black. Oh. I do know that it's going to be an opaque bag. It's a dark mm. color. It's a dark color where you can't see the see, model. Yeah, you can't see through hide. it. Yeah. yeah. Don't know the color of the bag. Yeah. So you, can't, you won't be able to see what model is inside. So there's going to be a bag that holds the figure. And you're going to get a random color of one of the random things. So you can get a D6, you can get a D4, you can get a D20 warrior, right. you know, wizard and all that stuff. Just like the Dice Heroes. Mm -hmm. uh, Hayden85, you log into the Pledge Manager with your Kickstarter mm -hmm. uh, email and password, I believe. And then you can go in and keep adding stuff as you like Correct. until the Pledge Manager is closed. Usually it... it we're going to warn you guys. We're yeah. going to warn you guys months. a lot of Yeah. A lot of Usually times. at least 90 days before the stuff even hits mm -hmm. the United States. Basically, we just need the time in order to actually stop the orders so that we can then get them here. And actually film. give the final production orders. Yeah. Yes. So just stay tuned. To, pay attention to the Kickstarter updates and your email and everything like that. Mm -hmm. There'll be warnings everywhere. Hey, I like that, Corsair. Blaine Collins. All right, guys. I mean, this happened earlier today, too. Someone yeah. came hot at me about something that was in a discount space. I'll accept whatever blame is necessary. Ah. So you, you just let me know. So uh, what were we talking about? We were talking about... Oh, Pledge Manager being open. Yes. So once you leak your Pledge Manager open, uh, so how much you pledged for the Kickstarter, so let's say you pledged 120 bucks. Right, that uh, should for the port set. over. Uh, yeah. So it should port over whenever they sync, whenever you have the same accounts. Uh, now you have $120 credit, mm -hmm. essentially, and now you can go through and buy whatever you want. So if you want a corset, boom, there you go. And then once you finalize your order, it adds it to your box. Right. Uh, now in the future, you can keep going and adding more stuff. Say you get paid on Friday. You would just create a new order. If you mm -hmm. finalized it, you would create a new order. A new order. Mm -hmm. And then the system, when we're pulling it, would actually combine them. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's only one freight charge. It would The, the shipping would re should be reduced. Uh, yes. On the, I believe on the, the pledge manager, it's still going to charge you shipping. But it will fix itself once all the boxes are put together. Okay. Uh, from what I confirmed. Yeah. Dan Goodchild. Uh, yes. yes. Speaking, speaking of that. Yes. Yes. So currently, right now, we put up the hotels at noon today. Right. Uh, a lot of you guys already know that they're sold out. <laughs> and I have this uh, latest breaking news oh. on my phone. My wife was saying, are you checking your phone? Yes, I am. 
Uh, Adrian is talking with the embassy suites, but please go to the Fairfield Hotel, uh, which uh, the link is uh, is to be on all the posts. Mm -hmm. It's the Overflow Hotel. Overflow it's, Hotel. Yeah, it's $99 a night. They will have a shuttle, and we are looking into scheduling a second shuttle that will run to the convention center. Mm -hmm. uh, also, we apologize for this sold-out uh, sold status, as we have never... Uh, sold out this block this fast. Yeah. So first and foremost with that, we would like to thank everybody who's mm -hmm. being involved because yeah. actually you guys make it harder and harder on us to <laughs> yeah. properly plan and prepare Prayer. every yeah. year. Kind of like the awards last year. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Those bronze medals, man. Yeah, we're trying to get a little so, bit more prepared. But. We, we, yeah, so right now I would I would start looking at the Fairfield and until we can figure out what's going on with the other hotel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I believe uh, it was about an hour and 20 minutes, I believe. Yeah. From when I posted it all on all the socials and everything. Was that it? Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think they're in discussions of talking about future blocks and more blocks and things like that. But as more information comes out, we'll let mm -hmm. you guys know. Uh, it's, I mean, it just happened today. So they're in talks right now. You know, people go to lunch. People have to talk to their bosses, and things like that. <laughs> not going to happen, Corsair. I'm not driving the Inco as a shuttle. Yeah. I got I, those Camaros only seat two people. I know they're supposed to seat four, but they only hold two, and one of us has to drive. So well, that sounds like. I mean, that's fine. I can drive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't mind? Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll fall on that blade. You will. Okay. Yeah. Hey, thank you. And there's a bunch of hotels around the convention center too. There's, there's uh, one right yeah. next to the Cracker Barrel. I and think there's, there's one a right Motel next to Denny's. Motel Six. Eight, eight, I believe it's eight. Mo Motel Eight. I think. Motel I think Eight. So. Okay. Yeah. But that was next to the Denny's. The Denny's. That's oh, right. Man, but Denny's. they're they're within. Our, you can look out your window and see the convention center. Yeah. So it's it's yeah. not like you're a halfway. And since we're town. already there talking about it, I'm supposed to also bring up mm. uh, some of the amenities. Uh, the the Embassy Suites has a bar restaurant called Hula Hands. Uh, there's also uh, Andy B's, which is bowling, arcade, and mm. just overall fun, which is within walking distance. Uh, there's the Alamo Draft House, which is a dinner theater. You can go see a movie there and all that sort of stuff. There's an IHOP and Cheddar's, all within walking distance. Mm. There you go. Yeah. Um, Coffee Nerdy Beer. Just told my kid that the hotel sold out without telling her we booked. She's bummed. Wait, oh. what? Oh, He's not letting her know. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. It's a he got in, but he's not letting. Christmas yeah. surprise. Yeah. Uh, so congratulations. Uh, I'm super excited for Reapercon this year. Um, thank you guys yeah. for selling it all it's out. It's going to be fun. It sold out faster than it's ever sold out. Uh, so that's making us kind of nervous. <laughs> we're trying to line up some other people to do tours, so John can have some time off to enjoy Reapercon. <sighs> uh, enjoy. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of social media stuff. Uh, yeah, enjoy pic Reapercon. Pictures and hashtags <laughs> and giveaways and Speaking contests. of all that, for those people who are streamers or sponsees that we take care of, um, please um, get with both myself, that's Collins, uh, Michael at ReaperMini.com. Mm -hmm. And Nightheart Gaming, we're going to start scheduling some stuff soon in order for people to kind of utilize our stuff to do some fun things during some that time period. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we're trying to get, maybe we can get everybody in a big email thread or a Discord conversation. Mm -hmm. That'd be cool. <laughs> no, John cannot enjoy. <laughs> um, oh, come on. So He works very hard. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you want to talk about uh, really quick the airbrush stuff? and then we, Oh, actually, let's talk about um, Victoria Miniatures real quick. Yes. Yeah, um, we it's do. It's very need important. To, yeah. Um, so I believe, uh, yeah, there we go. We have the there. Graphic. We go. Okay. So uh, Victoria Miniatures uh, down in Australia. Um, I don't know exactly where she's sanctioned. I think it's like south of Adelaide. It is in Adelaide. Adelaide. Uh, Adelaide. So she's yeah, on the which south is on the end. south, the very far south. Mm -hmm. of so she Australia. said that the fires aren't affecting her that much, but there is a lot of smoke. And There's stuff. and but it's yeah, they're talking about a lot of species actually going into extinct. That's what I've heard. Yeah, it's really tragic down so, there. So. For this, um, the, she's going to be donating uh, with her partners at Trenchworks mm -hmm. uh, fifty dollars every time a kangaroo APC. This model here, uh, there's going to be a command in chat. I believe it's uh, exclamation point <laughs> call fire. fire fire. Yeah. So uh, exclamation point fire in chat, and it'll pull up the link. There it is. There you go. Uh, thanks, Great Paladin. I appreciate that. Uh, you guys, you rated just in time, Gray Paladin. Yeah, um, we're just talking about this uh, fundraiser that's being mm -hmm. put on by Victoria Miniatures. Mm -hmm. So if you need the command in chat, it's uh, exclamation point fire. Uh, so they'll be doing a lot of uh, things like that. Uh, thanks for the raid. Thank you for the raid. Um, and so to catch you guys up, right now the mm -hmm. Victoria Miniatures is doing this as a fundraiser mm -hmm. for the fires, the devastating fires that are occurring in Australia. Yeah, this is going to be, it's, she's going to be donating it to the South Australian RSPCA Bushfire Fund. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, in conjunction with Trenchworks, they're Trenchworks going to be out of Utah. We work with Trenchworks a lot. So, yeah, they're both great companies. So, if you 
if you buy, uh, also if you buy this, you're going to be getting a, uh, I forgot what it's called. Uh, it's the, the thing on the front of the, the tank. hedge. Yeah, uh, I, I just had it pulled up. So okay. Yeah. Anyway, the red part on the front mm -hmm. of the tank is a hedgerow. With the, they developed that in World hedgerow. War II to knock out the German hedgerows after landing in Normandy. And so you can normally buy this, but if you buy this with the fundraiser, you get the hedgerow for free. Uh, I think they called it the hedgehog or something like that. Like the full size tank, the real one. Yes. Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you'll be getting <laughs> that. You, for free. Have you bought one yet? <laughs> yeah, I really thought about it. Uh, so you'll be getting that for free when you purchase this. Yes. And all uh, fifty dollars. And fifty dollars goes to the fund. For so each yeah. one that is sold. For those forty K players who really like guard, this tank's really good for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Collins is our kind of our forty K person here in the office. Yeah, he's the traitor amongst us all. <laughs> hey man, I just like to shoot stuff. <laughs> pew pew pew. <laughs> um, and <laughs> we're going to be doing a kind of a fundraiser as well. Yes, um, it's still in the works, and we'll have more information next week. Next week. Nothing specific right now. Yes, we're trying to get everything. So that you can peg Ed and I against the wall on Reaper Live next Thursday, or Ron and John on Reaper Land next Friday. It might be out by then, so. <laughs> Um, we're just trying to get all this stuff done, so it's mm -hmm. all cast and you know sculpted and all that stuff. So there you go. Uh, uh, Trash. I would say that um, there is, in fact, maybe you weigh a little bit, and there might be a completely different model that is dedicated to said fundraiser. Yes. But you know, mm -hmm. do you? I'm not gonna steal anybody's thunder when they get ready to announce that. There you yeah, go. Yeah. So there, there you go. go. Good, good uh, trivia there, Bug Lips. That oh, the lips. Uh, the hedgerows cutters mm -hmm. were out of D-Day. So they put up that. all the tank traps and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So as the boats were coming on, it would you know sink them or sink stop them. And so now when they just come and take those and then convert them to head. Uh, and put them on the front of tank. Is that the stuff that Tom Hanks dodged or was hiding behind? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just making sure. Okay. Yeah. 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 Good reference there, <laughs> Boomer. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> it was a good movie. Listen, what is it I was, I was saying? Says, yeah, I'm proud to be a boomer. And some guy goes, it sounds like that country mister song. I'm proud to be a boomer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Melon. Just an FYI, my dad was a part of the troops that liberated Paris in World War II. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Dave is a big history buff, if you guys don't know. Yeah. Uh, big World War II fan. Or not fan, but, <laughs> yeah. you know, like to study it and things yeah. like that, you know. What do you, what are the... What are people that are called that like that? Like the hist history buff. Yeah, they just like things in history. Yeah, just, yeah, history buffs. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. One might call them a historian, John. Y yeah, I didn't want to go could, that far. But no, yeah. Have to have some special a license. Have to go mm -hmm. to the historian's club. What yes. Guys, I would like to sign up. Uh, what hotel should I call for ReaperCon? We just gave an update on that. Yeah. Uh, is it the Fairfield Inn? It's the Fairfield Inn, which is, yeah, they have a shuttle that runs uh, across <laughs> the street. So you can call the Fairfield. Yeah, the Fairfield Inn. Uh, it'll it's uh, the Overflow Hotel mm -hmm. on the post on all of our social medias. Uh, enthusiast is what people are saying. History enthusiast. Okay, there you go. There we go. There we go. A Piper <laughs> Cub and Bones. There you go. Do you know what a Piper Cub is? I don't know. <laughs> it's my, Dave, what my dad play. trained on. A Piper <laughs> Cub. Hey John, I believe that you tweeted about an Overflow Hotel. I'm at the Marriott for ReaperCon. Yes. Will the Overflow also get the hotel goodie bag? Um, right now, uh, since ReaperCon is so far away, uh, we don't know about. Uh, We're still, that ex that's still exactly. in the planning. Uh, arduous uh, about the hotel goodie bag. I, I would, I, maybe, uh, probably, yeah, but but there's nothing confirmed yet. Yeah, nothing official yet, but we, I mean, we still have it. Reapercon's so far away. Uh, we're still having meetings about it. Uh, Actually, we're, getting we're, ready. we're getting ready to start our meeting. Yeah, that's we're getting ready. Yeah. So yeah, it's about to go full steam ahead. So that's a good question. I'll write that down. Bring that up at the meeting. Yeah. Um, uh, let's All see. All right, so now we have the Badger there we go. airbrush. Mm -hmm. uh, my brother's been working with them uh, to get the Reaper airbrush. It was, uh, it's got a single needle, for those who know about airbrushes, it's <laughs> got a single needle, but it has two sides you can use. It's not really sides so much as it should have two different needles that you can use. So oh. it's a single yeah. chamber with two different needles. needles. Okay. And that's important because it saves you from having to have multiple airbrushes. No, I'm good. You got it. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> just don't want it to be wrong. Okay, yeah. And it was helped, uh, worked, uh, Aaron Lovejoy and Matthew Fontaine designed worked together, it. designed it. Mm -hmm. And um, so we're going to, the second quarter of 2020, we are going to be selling the Reaper airbrush. It's mm -hmm. going to be a Badger airbrush. Yeah, that is the plan. So, I know you guys. A lot of been. A lot of people have been. A lot of about people it. been asking about the brush. I'm really so. excited to see it because I want to see what the engraving looks like. Uh, it's. I think it's going to be called. Uh, didn't it they say last night it's going to really be called the Reaper? Really cool. Yeah. yeah. Like the the sample model that we had at ReaperCon mm -hmm. that they showed around looked really good. So yeah, if you guys get a chance to go look at those videos, I think they we have them out there um, on YouTube. I hope so mm -hmm. that you guys probably can on see the forums stuff. as well. I'll have to so. use one and paint his door. 
Yeah. Oh well, the first one I was I heard last night the first one that comes in this building is mine. So. Oh uh-huh. really? Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. So yeah. Is there another uh, the building update? Right. Is that, is we that have next? the building update. No, there is no MSRP on the airbrush as of this moment. Not at this moment. Okay, the building. We finally got the plans back from the uh, civil Thanks, engineer. Yeah. Then we ran it up to the Thanks, the uh, county and the city, and they have been pushing their permits back and forth from admin. And so pretty much right now, the official word is, is that we have our permits uh, sends a couple of loose little things that we have to get done. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have to get like numbers assigned. Apparently, you just can't go out there and say, I want to be 55 Teasley Lane. Uh, you actually have to go through 911 and get a number assigned. Oh, wow. Um, that way, the emergency vehicles know where to go. And when you have two or three buildings on there, then it's like, and they don't use A, B, and C. So you have your number, and you can either have like 9082, mm-hmm. or you can have 9080 TC Lane, building one, and then building two. So, uh-huh. so they have to figure that out. And we have submitted the floor plan to the store, the new mm-hmm. store, to the city for the final approval. Yeah, cool. So I'm there you go. Yeah. Uh, me and a bunch of the casters were talking about when the new kind of road gets built, because there's a plan to have a road for 18-wheelers. Yes. So they can kind of come in and out. Yeah, the road in front of the, uh, the shop is actually a two-lane, and they're actually expanding it to divided four-lane. Mm. And right in front of where our sh- shop is right now, it's going to be a concrete barrier. Barrier, so you can't and left so turn into it. You cannot. But over by where the retail store is going to be, they do have a turnaround. Oh. So it's going to be located there. Yeah, we were talking about if that would be named a street or not. You know, the, the big the little, U. The little turnaround? Yeah, like no. like Pew Way or <laughs> hey, Reaper Street. Or we can put some signs up, Sophie sure. Street. <laughs> I'm all for putting my name on anything I can. Yeah. So, you know, if you, you needed to use Collins for yeah. anything, yeah, I'll just, I'll let you use it. Collins Crossing <laughs> or something like that. Um, danger Zone. <laughs> <laughs> the Danger Zone. Yeah. Cleveland uh, Blight. Do we ever think of casting in different metals? Uh, depend, uh, oh. The problem is, is that uh, our... The way we're designed is, is that our metals, we, we don't do brass, we don't do gold, silver, aluminum, though, because they have such a higher melting point, and the casting on those is a lot different than what we're used to. So, no, we, we, we're stuck where we are. Yeah. Uh, speaking of casting, uh, I actually did another pl- employee spotlight today. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I'm going to be doing it every Friday, uh, so we have an employee spotlight today. I did Bryn. Oh, did you? Um, yeah, and they, I actually have the picture right there. Hey, there so, she is. Uh, you remember that I did uh, Lauren uh, last Friday yeah. with all the minis around her and everything. Yeah. Uh, this is Bryn. She's one of our casters. She's been here for about a little bit over a year. Um, and I was I came to her, or I came to them, and I was like, what uh, what picture do you want to take? Because I give people the option of what kind of picture they want to take. And then uh, they said that they wanted to have this sprue, uh, which, like, looking through it. And yeah. I it was a great idea. She's one of our, our casters. She's an excellent caster. Mm-hmm. And I've, uh, there was so many... Uh, An aspiring artist. Have yeah. you seen some of her drawings? Oh, yeah. I have. Yeah. She, she, uh, they, they draw during uh, lunch all the time. Uh, so on Facebook, actually, here, people commented on the picture, and it's so funny. Um, uh, let me just read some of the comments. They were saying that this could be a plus, plus two ring of shielding. Uh, <laughs> that was my favorite comment, uh, the ring of shielding comment. Um, yeah, they, they do really good work. Uh, sh- uh, they are a great caster. Um, the plus two ring of shields was my favorite ring of shielding. Um, and then somebody said that it looks like a shield ninja star. Um, mm-hmm. So we get that a lot. Uh, so these are the sprues. And these, we a lot of people are asking, this does get remelted. Uh, we mix it in with stuff that uh, didn't pass QC uh, and fresh metal. So yeah. we always mix it with fresh metal. And you'll get to see this stuff if you come take a tour. I actually, <laughs> I actually pour stuff and they'll pour And you might even us. get to meet her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Get in touch with people to How answer the question. Uh, yeah, uh, Rax33, I would probably email, uh, just email me, and then I can get it to the right people for your question. Uh, Dr. Bob, so do all the molds spin the same direction then? No. No, they it, don't. It depends Good on question. how the molds are made. Uh, so I can flip that um, sprue, um, the, the sprue that I put inside the mold when I make them, I can flip it upside down so mm-hmm. it can spin backwards. Yes. Uh, it just depends on how it is inside the mold. Notice how the, you have the uh, in the center, the, the channels mm-hmm. are making the metal go in a particular direction. And so what you want is the centrifugal force as the mold is turning uh, to sling the metal that way. If you put that mold on the opposite turn, which you could, you could spin it in the opposite direction. Mm-hmm. Now the metal's actually having to go up and then go the mm-hmm. opposite direction, which would not help at all. 
there are certain cuts and, and metals, uh, molds are designed where you actually have to run them what we call counterclockwise. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the molds we make are clockwise. Yep, and you'll see that if you take a tour. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there we go. And so that was the employee spotlight. So then uh, now I got a plan on who's going to be next. Oh. Uh, I'm trying to do different departments. Mm -hmm. So there you go. How fast does the mold turn during casting? Uh, we can change how fast it spins inside the spin caster. Yeah, uh, depends on the size. If you're looking at a 12 inch, you really need to slow them down because mm -hmm. centrifugal forces from the very center of where our eye is go all the way out. On a 12 inch, it's bigger. So the centrifugal forces really multiply. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, you might want to have, I think it's 250 RPM, 20, uh, 25 per minute. Uh, for, for bigger molds? Yeah. Yes. And so smaller molds, like that's probably a nine inch mold, uh, you can run those up to about 45 or the, on the on the knob, yes. 450 rounds yeah, per minute. Thank you very much for that sub. Uh, and again, it's all based on <laughs> centrifugal force and because you're trying to keep the metal in the mold. You can actually turn the speed up so far that the centrifugal forces will just shoot all the metal out the side of the mold and nothing will get cast. Yeah, you have both of the tour guides right here. So yeah. you just went into tour speak, <laughs> so we call it. Uh, on the post, uh, a lot of people, uh, Christine Ben Patton was talking about the the names that I gave all the casters. Yeah. Uh, metal slingers, liquid magicians, lava mancers, and pewter paladins. Oh, there are you the go. The names that I gave them. Yeah. Uh, so I yeah. like lava mancers. That's kind of lava mancers. Yeah. That's that's what um, uh, their yeah. uh, husband calls it. Uh, coffee nerdy beer. Yeah. Uh, we need to do a how it's made episode. That's oh, yeah. definitely true. I, I love how it's made. Yeah. That's one of my favorite TV show like uh, segments that the History yeah. Channel does. Um, Apparently, they only, they only make up for Canada, though. The oh, businesses are out of Canada. Yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't know every that. Every one of them? Uh, most every time I've seen it, yeah. That's interesting. That I, never, is, I, I never I never had paid that. enough attention to, to know that. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, I don't know if I, I think that's all the pictures that I have rec recently. Do we have any other things to talk about on your list that you have? On my list. Uh, let me see here. Uh, no, we've gone down that. All right. So uh, we have the, uh, let's see, the Kickstarter. Oh, oh, Pokey Tools. Let's Pokey that Tools, up. yeah. And then we have the, uh, the uh, we've done the dice, the Kisses from Palo Apis. Oh, Ap pa Palos Apep? Yeah. I don't know if he's in chat or not. I haven't seen him. What, what I haven't about, seen him. What about Miniature Monday? Yeah, Miniature Monday. I was actually going to Oh, talk about we that. could, but I mean. <laughs> so, uh, for everybody that is who doesn't know, uh, we started a new show on Mondays. It's a paint-along show mm -hmm. um, with Josh Davis of Mini Painting Studio. Uh, and I believe on Monday they did the Warg, 77202 there. Mm -hmm. uh, and then next week on Monday, I believe it's Oswald, 77141 is what he's going to be working on. Oh, okay. Uh, so, in the future, we're going to have these uh, up a little bit sooner. Uh, I believe right now we're planning on having bundles so people can buy everything all at once. If you, yeah, if you that's going to be on the show. Yeah, uh, that way you can follow along. Uh, all the episodes will be on YouTube, so if you missed it live, you can go back and watch it uh, and paint along. Uh, I've seen a lot of pictures on Facebook of people sharing theirs that mm -hmm. they did this week, or as they did as they followed along of the work. Um, and I believe Josh wants to uh, have everybody share their pictures with him and things like that, so that way we can look at them in the future. Yeah, that one. Yeah, there uh, you go. I only took this one. There was a few. I just don't want to show them all off before the the end of the season. Uh, I believe Josh oh. is going to call them seasons. So mm -hmm. for the first, we're already three in seasons. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> it was there. We were kind of organizing by quarters. And yeah, quarters. And we yeah. just happened to call them by season, which yeah. inevitably led to our planning of the miniatures to be kind of focused around said seasons. Yeah. So, so there we go. It's really exciting. I really enjoyed it. Uh, he gave a lot of useful information about wet blending on the mm -hmm. model, and all that stuff. It was very, very good. He has a degree in. Uh, I can't remember what it is. It's some kind of art degree, but I can't remember, to be honest. I'm sorry, Josh, if you're watching. Uh, <laughs> but he went to school for it, and uh, I thought it was very educational. I'm very excited about it. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. so in the future, we'll try to have them up way before. Um, that way you guys can have time to buy stuff. And since we're on shows, we have the Toolbox Pro Tips with Ann Forrester, 11 p.m. Central on a Tuesdays a and a Thursdays. A.M. It's going to be 11 a.m. 11 a.m. What did I say? P.m. Oh, 11 a.m. Hey. It's time. It's relative, according yeah. to Einstein. <laughs> and, she's <laughs> and she's focusing on specific things. Uh, these are more for quick little things like forty-minute videos, thirty-minute videos. Yeah, like, like very specific question answer stuff. So, how yes. do I do hair on this model? Yep. Does the hair on or that model. skin tones mm -hmm. on this model, and she'll do different skin tones and things like that. So. And then the next one is Terrain Tuesday with my oh. brother Ed yeah. at three Central PM Central, mm -hmm. and he's working on a trebuchet, trebuchet, which I actually have right here. It's going to be shooting. Uh, Hershey Kisses. <laughs> yeah. So. It's looking pretty good. Yeah. yeah he had to extend the, uh, the, 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 arm. the shaft down. The shaft. Yeah. The, the shaft, arm, yeah. the pole, whatever you want to yeah, call it. That yeah, that show is filled with puns, so don't worry about it. Yeah. But anyway, this is what he's <laughs> working on. 
Um, so yeah, and his his actual next project will be or should be um, if he's listening mm-hmm. to the uh, direction mm-hmm. of the uh, department. Yeah, the diorama for. The miniatures that Josh is painting. Miniature Monday, yeah. So no. they're going to kind of bleed in together. Oh, yeah. So the minis that Josh just paints, he'll put on the terrain that uh, Ed builds. That's the plan. Uh, but, yeah, super fun. Uh, so if you have any if you have any ideas about uh, terrain and stuff that you want to see, email mm-hmm. them to uh, reaperlive at reapermini.com. Uh, there, we have a lot of good ideas that people have sent in. I know Ed's kind of uh, stockpiling them like a dragon. So <laughs> super exciting. Um, but, yeah. Uh, any other shows? Uh, Painting Platinum well, on Thursdays. Well, Painting Platinum with Mercedes Reagan. Mm-hmm. She's our uh, mix mixologist, as I like to call yeah. her, but it's not alcohol, it's paint. Uh, yes. This show, this last show, she completed... Mango uh, Teamer? The Learn to Paint Kit 1. And oh, we Learn to started a miniature that kind of has uh, all of the elements from Learn to Paint Kit mm-hmm. 1 so that she can try and practice the skills that are taught That she learned in Learn to Paint Kit 1. one. Cool. So that is 3 p.m. Central Time. There's Toolbox with Ann Forrester at 3 p.m. Central mm-hmm. on Wednesdays. Wednesday. So Wednesday is a double and day. Yeah. You get her at 11 o'clock in the morning and th- three? Yeah. Three. Three yeah. Central. Yeah. So you get her two two times in one day. And then there's Reaper Live on Thursday night. Thursday nights with the Ed CEO and, uh, and our art director. Yeah. You know, and I'll occasionally be moving in, and Ron will, and Ron will be coming over here. Yeah, we're going to be switching it up a little bit. It's so be in the first and third weeks, Ron will be over here. It's going to be exciting. You're going to be able to handle it with I all that so. rock stardom? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I think it'll be fine. But I'm excited for to Thursday with you and Dave, or you and Ed. Yeah. Talk about Reaper history. and Yeah, that's that going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited for we it. We've got this closet over there in storage that, that we just, whenever it archives, something would come up. Oh, yeah, put that in archives. So you just kind of throw it in there and walk away mm-hmm. and forget about it. So yeah, now I've we been, get to open it. I've been here for 10 years, and I still learn stuff every day that I had no idea. So, like the Daimyo expansion. It was oh, named yeah. After <laughs> an old Daimyo line that we used to have. I had no idea. An old Japanese, yeah, Daimyo line years and years ago. Um. Yeah, those are all of our shows. They're, uh, Twitch is starting to get really exciting, obviously. Uh, you guys are all here. Thanks for hanging out with us. Um, it's really fun to be able to like do this very fast and live. Mm-hmm. Uh, you guys can chat. We can talk to you really Did fast. You, you haven't talked about those yet. The pay pokies. Not yes. yet. Um, but it just feels really good to be able to communicate really fast. Yeah, no. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm enjoying the yeah doing the whole Twitch thing. Yes, yeah. you're, you're right, Little Lemon Drop. It is 1.30. When I was looking at the paper and you no, said 3. it is 3. Oh, you changed it? Yes. Okay, 3 p.m. Oh. Central. Thank you, guys. It changed. Thank you, there guys. We go. And, and I appreciate Little Lemon Drop, you watching um, from Boo Boo, who didn't appropriately change the time like he did last oh. week. Oh, wow, did he? To. Okay. Huge shock. Because last, oh. uh, last night when they did it on Reaper Live, yeah. I was watching, I was like, I think it's at 1.30. Our, our, goal is, our goal is to do these evening shows to kind of start at 3. That mm-hmm. way everybody kind of has a consistent time. Plus, between the 11 o'clock show and the 1.30 show, I needed to, we wanted to give time for both Ann and Justin to have a break from Correct. the stream mm-hmm. to okay. get lunch, answer emails, mm-hmm. process giveaways, that kind of stuff. Ah, thanks, Boo Boo. And where are the uh, little uh, icons that were <laughs> dancing around? We used to have those up. Oh, the Pokemon oh, things? Oh, you know, those are awesome. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Well, uh, that answers your question, <laughs> Dr. Bob. They're awesome. <laughs> all right. Uh, can you QVC cam me real quick? So I spent all my day on Tuesday making these bad boys. So these are the paint pokies, the legendary paint pokies you guys were talking. You guys That you been, hear everybody talking it's about. Gonna, it's not going to stand up, but you guys can hold it. Yeah. You can hold it. Um, and so these, you can go a little bit closer. There you go. There we go. So the one on the left of your screen is the unacid dipped, unpolished. Uh, it has been cleaned, um, and those are the paint pokies. Uh, and then the one on the right are acid dipped and polished. These mm-hmm. will be special occasions. So these will be like ReaperCon and uh, all of our conventions that we're going to, mm-hmm. and things like that. So these are going to be very special. Um, I kind of wanted to make them a little bit more limited and fun. Yeah. Uh, and then these are going to be the ones that you're going to be able to buy. General production. Yeah. You're going to be able to buy next week. Yeah. We don't know what day it's going to go live. Uh, mm-hmm. We're kind of waiting on that, but it will be. You guys have been asking and asking and asking and asking, and here's your paint pokies. So I, and I keep trying to hide the mold, and John keeps finding <laughs> it. Yeah. So I made I made a bunch, and I cleaned all them all, and they're all ready to go. We're just waiting on production stuff. So there you go. There's your update on the paint pokies. There's the pokies. Pump us back out. All right. Yeah, and Twitch giveaways for Wednesday and things like that, uh, for the acid-dipped ones, I think. All right, so uh, now the paint mm-hmm. case. Uh, oh, yeah, paint case. No, bad. thank you very much for that cheer. Yeah. All right, so we have a new insert into the paint cases. <laughs> of course there. 
that we're working on. It's still not finished, but it's plastic. Yeah. And so. someone was asking if it will fit into the old round cases. And it does. And it does. Yeah, we tested it right before the stream. Right before the show. Because last night really, they really were really saying, funny to watch the last night, no, it won't, it won't. I'm absolutely sure it won't. Yes, it does, Ed. So it does fit in there. Uh, what are the paint pokies actually called on the website? They will be called a uh, dropper tip tool, I think. Dropper bottle tool or something like that. It'll have we'll, a number and We'll everything. make sure that we link it and put some information yes. here. Yeah. Plus, um, John will social media it out to yes. the world. Yes, I'm trying to come up with like a little commercial that I can come up with it. So. Uh, Sophie's Revenge will have uh, masks. Masks. Full masks and yardums. Uh, we're not uh, nautical people, so I don't know the nautical terms. Yeah. Uh, but I know that it has three masts, and yeah. the masts are rolled up. Um, yeah, you're not gonna. We're not gonna do sails, yeah, and, no sails. and the little the side sails. rigging and and all that. No. Uh, the skew was gonna be 1644. Um, so uh, I got the cards all printed out, so they're gonna be ready to go soon. Right. Um, we'll we'll pay pay attention to socials, forums, all that stuff. It'll be posted everywhere as soon as it goes live. So there you go. Uh, people were asking, what does the acid dip do to it? Uh, so it gives it that darker color. Yeah. And then I have to polish it. And then once I polish it, it gets in all the crevices. Mm -hmm. So it gives it kind of like this dark shadowy. Yeah, it gives thing. it more of a, of a relief, kind of base relief kind mm -hmm. of look. And then they're lacquered, so the acid doesn't come off. Yeah. So they don't rub off on your hands and things like that. It's in painting mm -hmm. groups. Is there a paint plan to sell larger paint carrier for people who take their paints? Um, not at this time. Uh, I do know time. that we have talked in the past about seeing some larger cases, but it's always kind of come down to um, some demand for those types of things. Now, yeah. we do have the caddies, the clear ones, and those are for sale, and those can hold a lot of paints. Yes. Uh, so another another cool thing about these, the unpainted, the unacid dipped ones, the paint pokey tools that you see here, mm -hmm. uh, you can actually paint on these. So yeah. I'm thinking about doing some kind of contest uh, for, oh, yeah. where, where people can paint on these. Yeah. Uh, and then maybe do a giveaway just, to who has the best. Yeah, color. just prime them and, and go to town. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can really have a lot of fun doing that. In my head, I'm picturing like Day of the Dead skull. Yeah, like, you know the black and white with all the tattoos. Or the stuff Punisher like. or something. Oh yeah, like that. anything like yeah. that. So cool. What? Yes, Michael has. I that. just forgot it all. I just really did. Um, Michael has that look like Nightmare with the big eyes. Christmas. Nightmare Before <laughs> Christmas. Yeah, Jack Skellington. So that would be really cool. So yeah, Sugar Skull. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is the Dragons Don't Share model still in production, Melon says. The metal one is not. The mm -hmm. plastic, I would have to check. Uh, uh, the short answer to both of those questions is just no. No, no. no. Not, in, okay. not, not currently. Um, let's see. We did the dropper tip bottles. Uh, so you want to go ahead and start doing, let's do work in progresses first, paint jobs. Mm -hmm. uh, I tried to label them all with paint job. Um, do you have the OSL wizards? Let's, let's show that off. Uh, I saved them for last. Okay, cool. Also, because that's easier for uh, do these have names? Um, this is Holdgar Hot Top. Wow. And this is the Knight. Okay, Holgar Hotep. There you go. Uh, Ho Hotep, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, this was, I can't remember if it was on Facebook, but th these are all from social media. Uh, and I wanted to do this one because of the sword, uh, the non metallic. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, and on the back, the shield looks really awesome. Uh, the basing looks great. Uh, it looks like he got some tufts from the Army Painter tufts mm -hmm. that a lot of people use for their basing. Um, so, yeah, we're going to kind of rapid fire through all these paint jobs because. I have a bunch on my computer, and I don't want to. <laughs> I'm not. A, I'm not a big painter, so this isn't a critique. I'm just showing off. There so. you go. Mm -hmm. uh, there we go. Paint pokey dioramas. There you go. Uh, oh, nice. this was uh, uh, Patrick. Chambers. Patrick, yeah. Patrick Chambers. Everybody on our Facebook, you guys probably saw this, or if you follow Patrick's any Patrick mm -hmm. anywhere. He posted this on social media. This got 1,200 likes on our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. It was really good. I also like his ability to take it on the white. The, yeah. the white on white was a good picture. Yeah. Really good. Very um, nice, yeah. The it fact was, that you could take a white on white. It was more the uh, Crusader colors out of the Warlord game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very uh, nice. Yeah, the, a lot of people were commenting on it, the white. Yeah. yeah. It's just the way that he did the shadowing and all that stuff, especially like what Collins was saying. Yeah. Popping out on a white background. On a, it's tough, yeah. Super good. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, Took me a while to learn how to take photos like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this this one is our most popular thing on all the social medias that we did this week. Uh, so I want I think it was last week actually. I just didn't have time to show it off on the show, mm -hmm. but I wanted to give it its fair its fair time in the light. Uh, mm -hmm. Everybody probably saw this already, but this was incredible, and I just wanted to to show it off. See on hell right now. There is not a list that has all of the events and conventions we do that I'm aware. Yes, there is. Oh, there is. I have I it pinned on our it... Twitter. Ooh, yeah, all right. uh, and it's also it's in the announcement section on our it's Facebook called, it's page. It's called social media. Yeah. You know, I hear those things are overrated. It's on the Reddit <laughs> and it's in the forums, uh, in the news section on the forums. So it's everywhere. It's pinned and everywhere. Uh, this one I liked uh, because of the hair. If you look at the hair lighting yeah. there. 
Uh, they did some kind of like halo lighting on the top. Mm -hmm. um, but this is the Night Wolf model that we sell, and I like how they just painted the, yeah. the brown wolf on the shield. Yeah. Uh, super good. And I want to show you the back because of the scabbard, the red scabbard. Super good, super good paint job. Sorry if we're going too fast, but still fun to do. A lot of work in progress. Uh, what is this? Uh, this who is... painted this? Oh, yeah. What was the name on the last one, by the way? Oh, I'm sorry. Camille Weatherspoon was the uh, Camille Weatherspoon. Wolf Knight. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then this is GSD Paints. Okay, this was on uh, Reddit. GSD Paints did this, and it's the Mesmerist that we sell in oh, Pathfinder. Not, this is the Pathfinder menu, right? Pathfinder oh, yeah. model. Okay. Yeah, iconic Mesmerist. Um, so uh, you really can't see it in the picture, but he has a silver um, lining on the inside of those swirls on his cloak to help oh, it wow. kind of give it this kind of rune pop. Uh, it didn't really turn out well on the camera, I don't think, but I can kind of see it. Uh, but he commented about it on the Reddit. So I, I like the face on that one, too. Uh, this Ooh. one is, I like this one because of the browns. Brian O'Donnell. Brian O'Donnell. We'll call that Angry Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Angry Monday. Uh, I like the muted colors in this one. A lot of people that I've seen uh, on social media uh, do this one really bright, mm -hmm. uh, like really dark, shiny gold or black and gold and things like that. And I like this one because it's very like warlordy, like very uh, Genghis Khan, warlordy yeah. with, the, with the brown, the muted browns. I really like it. Um, oh, the bed oh, mimic. This is nice. Now, who did this? Uh, Hector Zeroni. Hector Ooh. Zeroni. Uh, I really like this one because of the eyes. Yeah. The eyes are phenomenal. Yeah, for, well, I like the blood on the are. teeth. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, that's. Man, the eyes in this one are super, super, super good. Um, yes, uh, Noni. Noni in chat says, Has the next paint contest mini been announced? Uh, look in the announcement section on our Facebook fan page, mm -hmm. uh, and it's pretty much everywhere. It's on Reddit and Instagram, Facebook, all this stuff. So it's oh, all there. Oh, Big J. Big J is um, Big J Customs. Oh, you're Hector. Hey, Big J. Oh. There you go. <laughs> you had to highlight it. <laughs> Notice me. me. <laughs> yeah, it's a good paint job. The eyes were incredible. Yeah, uh, very this, nice paint job. I believe this one is a work in progress. It's Christopher not, Mastic. Mm -hmm. Christopher Mastic. Is that what you said? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, this one is a, a work in progress. It's not done yet, I believe. Uh, he's still working on the base and a little bit on the face and hair. Uh, but I like this one because of the wood grain on the shield, mm -hmm. uh, the green, the highlighting and the green shadows. To, to point out good. that wood grain on that shield is hand painted. Hand painted, no yes. Wood yes. grain on that shield. So. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. And I believe the gold rim is not on the shield either. I don't know if it has the indent on it. No, it does not. It's flat. Yep. So there you go. Uh, that one's still a work in progress. Uh, it didn't have a back shot because he's still working on the back. Mm -hmm. uh, but there you go. I love things like this. Oh, this one I oh, thought was just nice. funny. Yeah. This is Legohan Paints. Legohan Paints? Legohan? Legohan Paints. There we go. Yeah, sure. He's trying his best. Sure. Yeah. I can't read. Yeah. Um, but this is... Uh, nice. This one was yeah. titled The Necromancer and His Friends, <laughs> uh, which I liked because it has a lot of the different models that we have, uh, especially the Magic Crown Ogre, which has been very popular recently. Mm -hmm. uh, he's been all over everything. <laughs> so That lighting on the ogre's head is really good, too. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have been doing all kinds of different effects. Green, glowing eyes, all kinds of stuff. Rust. Mm-hmm. No, uh, that'd be, that's something you'd see coming at you in a movie or something. Yeah. <laughs> and I like, I like the purples on the Necromancer. Mm -hmm. It kind of looks very spacey to me. Like, if I look at it, it kind of looks like stars, like you're looking at space. Um, and the, if you notice very closely on the lantern that's hanging down, it has a little bit of OSL. Mm -hmm. That's kind of glaring on the bottom of his cloak there. Um, it's very tiny. Most people, when they do OSL, they kind of try to make it the focal point right. of the model. Mm -hmm. uh, this one's just very or light. Or about it, yeah. Mm -hmm. So good job on that one. Oh, this one I've been sitting on for a little while. This was on the Reddit. Mm. Uh, do you have the name for this one? Macy JH. Macy JH. Uh, this one's been sitting on the Reddit for a while, and I just really like the, the I wanted to talk about the gradient. Because uh, if you notice that the feet are all blackish, they're like a lighter gray, and then it, it fades into like a lighter brown. Lighter brown, yeah. Um, or like the, the bone on the spine there coming down, fading back into the, the brown itself. Yeah. And the, and the head, it's very white towards mm -hmm. the tip, and then it starts to get a little bit brown, and then it starts to go back into, into that the, black. Yeah, into the uh, black, yeah. And it, it, same thing for the shoulders going out to the arms. Mm. Super, super, super good. The blending on this is incredible. Um, because you can barely see the, it, it kind of blends in the, the right leg of the model on the right side. It kind of blends in with the base. But this person uh, shedding did a really good job. I yeah, agree. super good. I've been sitting on it for a while. Um, but yeah, I like this one a lot. One of my favorite oh, minis. Yeah, oh. Mumlack. Uh, this was in Bones 4. Uh, this is Mumlack. Uh, like I Called said. a lot uh, of them, yeah. Maybe, maybe I'm just a sucker for browns. I just like browns. You like all I the think. brown ones. Oh, okay. Uh, so I'm trying to save as many pictures as I can on my laptop. 
I have a crap ton. Mm -hmm. uh, today we're only going to show off 10 uh, or 11, um, but I have a crap ton. I'm saving all your pictures, so I hope that's okay. <laughs> hey, we have art of Mike Disney in the room. Hey, Mike Disney. Thanks for the raid last night. Uh, oh, we raided him last night, too. Oh, did yeah. we? Oh, okay. He was playing Tea Time with Taryn. Uh, they were playing... Uh, what do, you, what do you guys play on Thursday? It's uh, Pictionary. They oh, Pictionary. yeah. I've seen you do that. Yeah. So their chats try to guess to see who can, who yeah. can guess faster. Yeah. yeah. Um, this one is the Iron Golem. Uh, I like this one because he has the paints in the background. Very, mm -hmm. very humble brag. Um, but the helmet also has that red glow in the eyes if yeah. you look at it very closely. Um, plus, this one has a lot of, like, it has a different metals in it. In, yeah. Uh, it has the, the brass and the, uh, the mm -hmm. chrome or the steel and some golds. Yeah. I'm a sucker for steampunk stuff, so, yeah. <laughs> Glenn, I am well, Iron Man. One of our or Ozzy. <laughs> instructors and at ReaperCon actually did this next one. Oh, the next night? This next one? Oh, oh this is... Uh, David Cecil. David Cecil, that's right. Uh, I like David. I talk to him every year. He's a cool dude. Cool dude. Uh, this is one of the new mouselings. So this is the, the mouseling that I believe was at ReaperCon. Uh, this one is also, I believe, in Bones 5. Is that right, Collins? If I remember correctly? Um, the larger know. version of this was. This was the, oh, this is the small version. This is the um, Reaper Con version. Reaper Con version. Yeah. Okay, so this is the smaller version. Uh, the bigger version is in the Kickstarter. Uh, the new mouseling sizes, but mm -hmm. this is the 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 old Reaper Con one, and I like this one a lot. I like David a lot. Yeah, <laughs> kind of looks a little haggard, almost like it's an old West kind yeah. of. Yeah, uh, uh, he has like a little blunderbuss, like yeah. a little blunderbuss rifle, and a little. I like the non-metallic shading on the sword there, so. Guys, I'm not a painter, but I'm learning. <laughs> uh, I'm learning all the all the terminology. Oh, there you go. Oh, There's this some, one. Yeah. So you guys probably saw that I posted the wizard picture on Monday. Uh, there were four brothers in the top of the tower uh, of the Brotherhood. A little story. I give a little story to all my pictures that I take. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of people on um, social media, on Twitter and Facebook and everything, they wanted to look at this wizard because of the OSL. Right. Uh, this was painted by Jen Greenwald. Um, so this was painted by Jen Greenwald, and the OSL is incredible. Uh, the lighting that I had for this was made the orb a little bit bright, so that's why it's kind of but a little bit washed out. That's perfect for that photo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And you can see it kind of glowing I mean, on its mustache. Yeah. Uh, very good. Not gonna lie, with a little bit of a little bit of contrast work um, from your phone and stuff like that, we could have made this picture look really good. Oh yeah, sorry. It looks good, as I'm it not is. good. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying it doesn't look good. Yeah. I'm saying we could have hmm. we could have elevated this. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll take a better one. I haven't uh, I haven't put it on socials yet. Grumble so. done. What is O L O S L? <laughs> oh. Uh, OSL means uh, or, Other uh, or object, object source, source, source lighting. lighting. Yeah. Object source lighting. Uh, there's a bunch of YouTube videos. Painting something to make it look like it's illuminated mm -hmm. and uh, a lighting up surrounding objects. In this case, for example, the orb itself is producing that yellow glow. So you can see how his beard. Yeah, his how the, the greens yeah. are now more of a yellow green mm -hmm. close to the orb and then it gets darker green as it goes away. Yeah. You looked for this guy the, for so long. Uh, on the post that I made, I put the numbers mm -hmm. in there. So if you wanted to go find this guy, the actual number, I put it on the post. Yeah, the orb just looks like quite hot. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And those were all the ones that were provided by uh, John? Yeah. Uh, so I'll move those over into the shown folder that, I'll, that I have okay. on here. And then we'll, <laughs> next week we'll keep showing more. So keep putting all your work in progresses up there, um, and I'll try to tag as many as I can. Um, yeah, and then I believe right now, if we don't have anything else to talk about, mm -hmm. I have work desk stuff to show off. Oh, okay. Um, it's kind of up to you guys. It's 4 yeah. o'clock now, so oh, however long you guys want to go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, unless you have, are you busy? You're busy, right? Uh, only thing I'm worried about is, again, the weather. Uh, oh, okay. Ron said he opened the door at the store down there a little while ago, and when he did, it about yanked the door out of his hand. All right. Cool. All right, we'll power through. We'll power through. All right. And if we get sucked out of the camera, <laughs> you know what happened. <laughs> um, Chad Roberts. Chad Roberts. Oh, oh this is... um. Chad Roberts is, uh, I think he's in chat. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm, I like all these lights, my man. Like, I'm yeah. hanging on my kitchen table, uh, and yeah. you're talking about not having enough light. Kitchen <laughs> yeah. table, never good. Enough. I believe this is Trasharama, if I'm, if I'm wrong. Really? I believe, I believe this is Trasharama. Oh, okay. Me, yeah. I yeah. knew it. I knew okay. it. This is Chad. Chad was coming after me saying, oh, uh, I'm joining in on the, the desk meme. And I was like, it's not a meme. It's a it's a it's a thing. It's happening. Yeah. Trasharama. It's so, a thing. He tried to he tried to call me out. So <laughs> it's the uh, the uh, stadium mm -hmm. holding the paints, and then your supplies in the box over there. I like the computer with the keyboard there. Oh, I like the computer because we're on it. Yeah. Look, yeah. Look yeah. at that. I mean, <laughs> especially that me. Plug. That shameless plug. That shameless right there. Uh, so thanks, Trasharama. Yeah, it's a way of life. Uh, yes. That type of board. Correct me if I'm wrong. That's MDF. Is that correct? The type well, of looks boarding. all laser cut. So. Yeah, laser cut MDF, I believe. Yeah. Um, so 
So cool. And I like he has his Reaper sticker branded there. And look, I'm on the TV. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Trashorama. <laughs> Um, apparently, apparently, in other hobby groups as well, people have been sharing their their work desk. Mm -hmm. So I, I think we created like a chain reaction. So I think a lot of people Good. just started sharing it yeah. everywhere. So. By the way, this is what it, yeah. Uh, this is Chad Wharton. Chad Wharton. I believe this is a dual setup. So he has his, he just set this up, the mm -hmm. uh, airbrush machine over there, uh, his station. Right. Uh, I really like Chad's lights. Now that I see um, Chad number two's lights, those <laughs> LED strips. Mm -hmm. over themselves over there on the right that mm -hmm. is a genius way to make sure you have perfect light yeah mm -hmm. from all oh, yeah. sides yeah so he has the the ring so it has the all light bells, yeah. yeah no that bet you that's good for taking pictures too uh you you bet you bet <laughs> you bet yeah he also has this dual computer setup i'm, I'm a sucker for dirt for dual computer setups yeah um, he's got a little sleeping mat right there you can just roll it out and <laughs> <laughs> go to sleep yeah. in this room yeah, yeah. <laughs> there we go <laughs> Uh, next is Chandler Scott. Chandler Scott. Oh, I love this one. Wow. Yeah. Um, this is a dual real desk. three yeah. this triple. Is a real desk. Uh, yeah. He says that he has his friends over and they paint next to him and stuff like that. So, oh, okay. Um, yeah. Uh, I wanted to talk about this one because actually Collins' wife actually made me a long time ago when I used to live with them a particle board like this. The, the pegboard. This the is pegboard. Fun yeah. fact: This is what we're doing our entire garage in. Yeah. Oh. And so you can hang your tools and stuff. A lot of people do it in their garages for tools. Yeah. Uh, but I had one to for decorate my wall, and I still have it actually. Oh, that's uh, so sweet. Yeah. So tell Danny I still have it. Uh, but you can, you know, hang up all your stuff. It's really nice to hang up all your stuff on it. I just realized that my coffee cup is up there. Yes, I put it up there. And I said, I'm going to start a new thing. If people leave stuff on the set, it's going to become yeah. a part of the background. Uh, white T0, uh, I don't know how you create it, but you can get them at your hardware store and in some cases actually your auto supply store. What? LED lighting. Oh, yeah, yeah strips. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I know some people do and don't like this kind of mixed bag on this, but Ikea actually has some really good strips of light. Oh, yeah? So. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, you just buy them in long strips, and you just plug a one. And some of them are even just you buy them, and then you cut them to yeah. whatever size you want. So you lose out on whatever the extra was, but that stuff's pretty cheap, and yeah. it's low on power. Um, so this Chase one, Merton. Chase Merton. Um, oh, nice. I like that, where the paints are leaning down a little bit. Yeah, it looks like you took a Coliseum and just kind of squished it. And squished it, kind of stacked it down, on top so of now, but yeah, that's a good display rack there. Mm -hmm. Uh, I like the last picture, also display rack. We didn't talk about it because we got just sucked into other stuff. But he had a whole wall that had all the circles the, in it. Can we yeah. go back to the last one real quick? Oh, yeah. Yes, right. I, yes I, I, I took you guys off. Uh, no, you're fine. Uh, Collins was talking about his coffee cup right here, by the way. Um, but you can see on the left side of the picture there. Oh. Uh, all the holes that are Muckies. on that wall. It looks like a big. <laughs> it looks like a big board that had a bunch of holes drilled into it, mm -hmm. so that way he could put his bottles in there. That's what it looks like to me. I don't know exactly no, what it is. What, it is. I'm, what I'm trying to understand, look at it is I don't know if those are pots or if those are uh, bottles. It looks like they're bottles that are flipped upside, uh, flipped they're around. Back. Yeah. It's, it's the pot, bottom half. Pots of them. can look like that too. Oh really? Okay. Um, yeah, I have no idea. But it looks really cool because the colors. But all the OCD people are like, why aren't the colors matching? <laughs> yeah. You know? Why so. this isn't the appropriate order? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> do yeah, I, I mean, want this yellow up here or do I want this yellow down here? Um, wall racks, Coffee Nerdy Beer says. So, there we go. All right. That was Chandler. Yeah, I like how, I like the gray mat too. A lot of streamers and stuff use that mat. Oh, that's what I bought for us because of it. The gray one? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the gray is it goes with just about everything. This is hey. Corey White also shamelessly making yeah. sure you guys are in the Corey White. Hey. Look at us. Look at us. I'm a sucker for dual dual computer setups. Uh, yeah. I love it. Um yeah. So dual monitors? Dual monitors or whatever. You know what I mean. Just make sure. Noob. Um, <laughs> but I like I like the if you look on the right side and the left side of his desk, he has those little thin tables that can slide in and out. And it oh, looks okay. like he has yeah. his wet palette on the left oh, there. Yeah. yeah. So whenever he needs to put it up, he can just go shoop, slide it in there. I like a functional desk, so yeah. Man, we need some better pictures of these miniatures. I'm trying to. I keep trying to figure out what minis are being painted. Oh yeah. Mhm. Mm uh, I'm gonna go with Debbie. Debbie. It? Well, it's Y E instead of E Y. So. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah. I've seen her a lot on the Facebook page. Yeah. So this is Debbie. Um. But yeah. Nice cat. Cute little mm -hmm. little pushing cat there. Yeah. Um, Got her computer nearby. Also, a huge fan of not having uh, Dave and John on the computer screen. Oh, when took yeah. The picture. Yeah, um, I'm going to have to vote against this one. My picture yeah, isn't on vote, there. Down vote. <laughs> um, but yeah, dual monitor is great, uh, especially when you're like. I like I like how Justin's head is like looking up over the. Oh, yeah. He's kind of, oh, he's actually. He's real Jason. Like, he's real uh, whatever the guy is. Yeah. But no, very it. simple, and you just have your basic uh, paints out there that you would use a lot yeah, of. Yeah, it does look like the cat is sitting on a spider. That's kind of what it looks like. Hmm. It's the, uh, it's the, um, From Minecraft. Minecraft. Yeah, Minecraft the spider. Minecraft spider. Oh, yeah. yeah? Okay. Very blocky. I used to have those speakers, too, those Logitech speakers. Yeah. This is oh. Greg McFall. 
Okay, and so he's doing, mm -hmm. oh, those are paint pods on the right, mm -hmm. and our paint's there in the center. Yeah, you can see how he put the white caps, or mm -hmm. he has the paint on the tips. Yes. So you can see them. And, uh, and that came up as a question earlier. We are, uh, uh, I had a talk with uh, Ed and Ron. We are not switching to only black caps. We are switching to only white caps. Yeah, I believe they talked about only white caps. Really? Really? Yes. This is really going to mess up my paint collection. Sorry. All white caps. Hey, what, All white what, what's, caps. What's the return policy? <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, definitely. Where, where, where are we posting these pics, Art of Mike Disney says. Um, I've been collecting them from Facebook, Reddit, mm -hmm. and Twitter. So we're not actually reposting re them anywhere. We're only doing them here, correct? Correct. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not reposting them but anywhere. But also, I think, uh, back to the white caps, I think we do sell a, a pack of like yes, five. Uh, I think it's white, like 20. 20, 20 white caps. White caps. Mm -hmm. So if you have black caps and you want white, you can order those. Yeah. So a lot of people have been, you know, a lot of people buy the white caps. Yay, all white caps, yeah. A lot of people like it because you can put yeah, the dot, yeah. dot on the top. And that's what I was telling them. Did they talk <laughs> with me before they made the announcement? No. no. Uh, uh, so Josie RK, uh, look on the website and just look for the white caps. It should yeah. be, a, I don't know the exact number, but it, it's a big pack of white caps. Yes. All right. Sorry. Oh. Yeah. All right. Sorry, we're, we're... Yeah, Collins can do it. He'll, he'll get you the link, uh, Josie. We're digressing. All right. So back to the work. Uh, Man. This, yeah, this one's great. Serious. I, I wanted to show this one. Uh, <laughs> there's, there's no picture for these caps. Oh, good. No, I think the three white dots mean it's loading. Is that right? Nope. Oh, okay. That means there's no picture. Oh, okay, good. That means it's loading. Yeah, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's loading. It's loading. Well, well, <laughs> no, just add it to your card. Don't worry about yes. what What's the number? Uh, 8707. So 08707. Mm -hmm. What was that again? Sorry. Uh, 08707. 07. There we go. Pack of 12. Yes. 8707. Thanks, Palos. Also, Palos, I'm sorry you couldn't take a tour. I mean, I was still here when you were here, but I know you were busy and you had to leave. But, yeah. Yeah. He came. He's going to be back in four weeks, I believe. Uh, so you have to do the tour, tour then. Yeah. Yeah. And he, yes. he's the one who made this Hershey Kiss mimic. But you have to take the, oh, uh, the picture down. Oh, let's talk about this desk real quick. Who is okay. this again? Um, Halidor Arkillison. You're great at this. It's, well, Halidor, H-A-L-I-D-O-R. I think I got that one. Yeah, down. Halidor. Arkellison, A R K E L L S S O N. Oh. So now, if you add too many letters, oh, yeah, you're not going to be able to spell it right. Yeah, maybe my, my chubby little fingers were typing oh, on the laptop. Oh, Jacob, thank you very much. Thanks, for that. Jacob. Fun. Thanks, Jacob. Uh, Jacob was in, in my chat last night. He was helping me. Yeah. He was, he was watching. Mm hmm. Um, hey Jacob. But this this hobby desk is incredible. Uh, yeah. Because no, they, that's like that's like kitchen size. <laughs> yeah, I'm curious if they went and got Thanks, these Jeff. these cabinets uh, mm -hmm. yeah, they for look this. Like little kitchen yeah. cabinets. Look, they mm -hmm. just went down to the like reuse store or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's like, hey, I'm gonna put these up right here. Yeah. yeah. I like to have a little clock there. They have all the little. I like the little tiny drawers that are up there. It almost reminds me of like a school science wall. You know, oh like yeah. You science class. In the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go get your beakers. Uh, yeah, everybody. <laughs> and they're a really big fan of the stadium style. Uh, they also have uh, play mats on the left side there, the play mats, because they're very soft and smooth for Magic mm -hmm. the Gathering, a lot of, or card games, a lot of people yeah. use them for their cards. Imagine showing someone your home. Is this, is this your kitchen? No, this is my playroom. <laughs> this is my playroom. <laughs> uh, you see all the board games down there at the bottom? Uh, yeah. Stuff that they're painting. You a know. lot of this stuff's like GW terrain stuff. Yeah, it's also probably like Gundam kits and terrain stuff mm -hmm. and things like that. So stuff that they're working on. So yeah, it's exciting. Really cool setup. Yeah, it's super good. And then uh, there's a bug lip. Hey, uh, there you bug go. lips. Oh, he's he's going for the Ed. I love Ed oh, okay. Sculpts. All yeah. right, bug lips. <laughs> yeah. All I right. heard eggs, Ed Sculpts. Um, Got his uh, stadium, as you call it, the uh, stadium holders. Yeah, it kind of looks like. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know about this clutter situation. Yeah. Um, uh, bug lips actually started the. It's okay to have your desk cluttered because he was he was he saw all these clean pictures of people's desks, <laughs> so he posted about this. Um, but bug lips, correct me if I'm wrong. I went to go look at the post again, and he had posted a story about where how he got this desk or yeah. where the desk came from, and it's something about a um, uh, a fire. Huh? Uh, apparently, there was a house fire, mm -hmm. uh, and he said this window was very important for him because. The desk survived, but whenever they were get it coming into the house, they used their chainsaw and yeah. they, they busted through the wall, mm -hmm. and it actually took a chip out of his desk. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, you can't see it on here, I think he said. It's but underneath. Yeah, it's right underneath where the uh, the coffee cup is. Yeah, right in that they, area. they said that they they chipped some of the the table off, but the table survived. So whenever they rebuilt the house and everything, he kept the same table mm -hmm. and everything, and that's his hobby desk. I believe that's the story. I, I could be wrong. I remember reading it, but then I went back to go find it, and I couldn't find it anywhere. So I don't know if he edited the post 
or anything like that. But uh, bug lips, maybe please you, correct maybe me if I'm wrong. Maybe you dreamed it. <laughs> uh, message me on Facebook or on the forums or Facebook or anything like that. Just let me know if I'm wrong. But I thought it was a great story and I loved it. So, yeah. Cool setup. Super sticker and everything. Yeah. And he likes Ed sculpts, and he's got his medals right there next to him. on the paint racks. Also a good call. Yeah, the Reapercon medals, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one was a really good one. I wanted to talk to this one about the story. Um, I believe uh, what's the name? Um, Amy Garver Greer. Oh, uh, Amy Greer. Um, she likes to paint on next to a hockey uh, ice rink. I believe her kids are homeschooled. Uh, okay. I believe, and they're they're ice skaters. And they do a bunch of other activities and stuff. So while she's taking them to their classes and everything like that, she brings her stuff with her. Oh, okay. So while she's, you know, at practice or rehearsal mm -hmm. or something like that, she said that your ba your paint desk can be anywhere. Yeah. So I wanted yes. to bring this up as a good True, yeah. as a good story. You know, it doesn't matter. You don't have to have this huge hobby desk. You know, you're not, we're not trying to make people feel inferior or like, like having an entire kitchen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so you don't have to feel bad. You know, you can paint anywhere. That's the beauty of the yeah, hobby, really. No. But I just thought it was such a great story that I wanted to talk about it. So there That's you go. That's cool. Yeah. And it created a lot of discussion, uh, especially with people that are new to the hobby. Uh, since everybody was posting all their hobby stuff, and mm -hmm. it felt a little bit, um, I wouldn't say discouraging, I don't think, but it, just, you know, it kind of makes you feel like, oh, you know, this is what I have to get into. You don't have to I go bet, that way. I bet she gets a lot of comments or people wanting to come by and look and, yeah. and talk with her about it. That's yeah, a lot of uh, paint and takes. A lot of paint and takes happen like that. Yeah. Like, oh, what are you guys working on? You know, yeah. people come down and sit down. So things like that. Um, Got her brush holders there. Uh, oh. Uh, here's Bob Davidson. Bob yeah. Davidson. He's also prescribing to the bug lips, bug lips yeah, the bu theory. He, he actually posted this after bug lips, and he said, since bug lips showed it, I'll show mine too. There we go, yeah. So no shame. That's, that's when I know bug lips started a whole thing uh, with cluttered desk, which is true. I mean, a lot of people did clean up their desks for the good picture. Yeah, you should um, see my desk. I never, It's never neat, neat uh, and clean. That's actually my one of my New Year's resolutions this year is to have all my uh, hobby desk, uh, work desk, all my places where I spend a lot of time clean i feel mm. i feel like at least once a year um ed and dave clean off all of their desks right before reaper yes, yes. So the tours, for the tours yes yeah. yeah and that's about the only time <laughs> um, and then it just kind of accumulates yeah i like his books over there on the right um so you can never have them and then you have your storage boxes mm -hmm. there for your magazines reference material and then i have one more for one more guys. one more and desk this is old uh, ben warwick i don't know orcs oh yeah i don't know orcs i guess uh, I, this is one of my, I love, I love it when he posts everything. Wow. Um, but yeah, look at all that. It just has a whole bunch of little desks with paints all over it. <laughs> he doesn't subscribe to any of the holders or anything like that. <laughs> yeah. Everybody has paint holders. He says, no, nah, I'm just going to put them on a shelf. There you go. I don't know orcs, I guess. I don't know if he's in chat, but, um, I don't know he's what He's got his a lot of good light is. there. So yeah, he's got the light to work. Yeah. Uh, it looks like he's painting Herschel the reindeer. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks like down there. Good old Herschel. But. Nice chaotic paint setup here. There you go. So I wanted to show that one off for, for that. the non OCD people. Mm -hmm. That was the last one. It was indeed. Boom. All so right. So if you have your hobby desks, if you have your paint jobs, you know, if you think they're worthy of showing, if you want to show them yeah. off, tag us everywhere, put them. And everywhere. you don't have to actually have a set one. You can just be taking it while you're taking your kids to practice or yeah, something. Hobby yeah, hobby desk. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Super good. Um, like the one lady who had the, the tray. She had a, a dinner tray that she carried around the house depending on where the lighting was that was the best. Oh. Like if she wanted to watch TV, she'd bring them in the living room. Yeah. You know, things like that. Uh, real quick before we start heading off, I want to reiterate, uh, sorry about the whole sellout of the rooms. Ah, hotels, yes. Uh, so uh, what you do is you can check on the Fairfield Hotel, which is right near uh, the actually Embassy Suites. It's $99 a night, and there will be a shuttle running between the two, and it's not going to be my Yinka. <laughs> All right. And then we also have, oh, closing reminders on social media. John? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, everything. Uh, everything. Just check we're it. Every, yeah, <laughs> we're uh, at Reaper Mini uh, on Twitter. Reaper Miniatures on Reddit. There's a subreddit, r slash Reaper Miniatures. It's growing pretty fast. Um, speaking of that, on Reddit, uh, I actually did a story this week. I'm not going to read it out because we're running low on time. But everybody got to uh, submit one <gasps> sentence at a time. And, oh, yeah. And yeah. I basically created a kind of a small short story. So if you ever want to do something like that, I know people have done it on the forums before, but I'm trying to come up with a system to where it's a lot easier and faster, maybe Ooh. some kind of boating system. Twitter or would like be that. real good too, since you're limited to character sizes. Yeah, character sizes. numbers or character counts, rather. You yeah. mean, you mean Twitter? Yeah, that's what I said, right? I'll, I'll probably do it on Twitter too. Did I say um, No. Okay. It's just sometimes it's a little hard, because sometimes people will respond at the same time. Yeah. Uh, so if you want to do the next sentence, they don't match up. 
Or sometimes people will troll you and be like, and then he died. <laughs> and then and then and then the story ends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no trolling. You can always then get resurrected. This yeah. The next sentence is, and then he's resurrected. <laughs> or did he? <laughs> so i uh, also be checking the show-off threads on the forums, Silverthorn. I know I'm still new to the forums and everything. I'm still learning it. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm getting there. Uh, I know people have been talking about my backgrounds being weird. Uh, I fixed it. I figured it out. Because uh, I do a lot of copy-pasting since I'm posting everything everywhere. So if I found out that if I copy-paste onto the forums, there's a black background. It's really hard for people to see. Oh. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I figured it out. I'm, I'm supposed to get subs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Friday, gift subs. Yeah. Uh, we just got five more. So how many do we have? Uh, so you don't know. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 37, eight, 38. Mm -hmm. 38. Well, thank you. Uh, so pass on the information uh, about the hotel rooms yeah. uh, for the Fairfield Inn, overflow hotels, things like that. Uh, we're, we're working on new blocks. We're still talking with the hotel and everything. You know, It has to go through a lot of people. There's yeah. a lot of bosses that things have to get through. You know how it like is. That. It's like trying to get permits from the city. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Awesome. Getting bombed. Getting All right. bombed. 38 <laughs> gifted. There you go. Welcome. Welcome to the community. If you guys weren't a part of a, the Reaper Miniatures channel, now you are. Losing the feed bad. Uh, refresh, Rebecca. We're about to leave anyway. Actually, yeah. We're getting ready to raid our, our guy. Uh, Miniatures Dan. Dan so. Oh, okay. Yeah, go go show this. Uh, the, I think he's is he French? Um, Italian? Something like that. Uh, I don't know. You'll figure it out real yeah. quick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, if he's talking uh, in a foreign language. Yes. <laughs> he's he's across the pond. Uh, he's he's up late right now. I think it's like nine, ten o'clock there. It's pretty late there for him. Yeah, it's like ten o'clock there. I think. Mm -hmm. So um, go share some go share some love. He's a very talented painter. He does mm -hmm. a lot of uh, high tabletop stuff. Yes, Chris uh, Go Vikings. Yeah, go Vikings. Yeah. Uh, go go share the love. We'll see you guys later. I'll see you on Monday. Ron Hawkins.